So a breakout is basically when the price, for example, if you're talking about a bullish breakout, you're talking about the price breaking above a certain key resistance, okay? And as such, you are anticipating that the price will continue to go higher from there as a result. So that is what we call a breakout. Now, when we talk about a fake breakout, essentially, I think what you're trying to mean is that a fake, a, a big a breakout that didn't work out, okay? So any breakout that didn't work out is a breakout that didn't work, all right? So basically, I think you can actually break, break down a breakout into a fake breakout as well as a failed breakout, okay? Now, what's the difference between a fake breakout and a failed breakout? A failed breakout is a breakout that happens, everything happens accordingly. However, the market didn't manage to continue to push the price higher and the price falls back to the breakout level and closes or breaks below that level again. So that's what I call a failed breakout. When we talk about a fake breakout, we are trying to assume that this breakout was fake. It was stitched. It was manipulated in a way. That is the reason why it's called fake breakout. Otherwise, if it's not manipulated, it should be a, what we call a failed breakout. Okay. So a fail a, a fake breakout is when someone manipulate a breakout and then cause it to fail thereafter. And as such, trapping those or causing those traders who decide to get in during the breakout to hit their stop loss and to lose money from there. Okay. So that's what we call a fake breakout. Mm -hmm.